Hello, Vikings. Inhale. That's a funny word, right? Well, the only thing you should inhale is air, right? We know people surely inhale things that are bad for them, such as tobacco products. But you may even walk uh, by a cigarette smoker and mistakenly inhale secondhand smoke. But what about inhaling a drill bit? Yeah, you heard me. A drill bit. A drill bit is a small cylinder sized piece of metal used to make holes in a, any number of materials. Well, according to NBC News, an Illinois man was on the routine visit to the dentist to get his tooth filled. But when the when he inhaled a one inch dental drill bit, he initially thought he swallowed it, but he was later told by the doctor that he actually inhaled it. The doctor was told him that the CT scan indicated that the drill bit went deep into his lung. Not his stomach, his lung. Well, Vikings, enjoy getting your teeth cleaned next time you go to the dentist. And um, don't inhale anything other than air. Have a nice weekend. Good afternoon, Vikings and Vikings. I'm AC Earhart, and I'm here to tell you all about concussions. You may be thinking, why are you doing this out of the blue? Well, I'm not just doing it for fun. I got this segment idea for my own experience. This idea just hit me in the head, if you will. I had a soccer game Saturday and got smashed in between two girls and ended up on the ground. I know, it's so fun, not. I got this cute little souvenir from the ER. Don't worry, I'm fine. A concussion is when a head hits a hard surface or the ground and your brain shakes, which can proceed to swallowing and sometimes bleeding. That's all for today. Thanks for listening. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, and don't hit your head. I'm Fatima. And I'm Brody. Welcome to Left Brain or Right Brain. We have some videos and pictures to determine whether you're left brain or le right brain. You've probably heard of Yanny or Laurel challenge. I hear Yanny. And I hear La Laurel. There's also a dress and chew challenge. We have some kids joining us to answer these questions. What do you see? What? That one? A blue and black dress. Blue and black. Teal and gray. What? Like, I see pink and white. I see teal and gray. Okay. So, what do you hear? Yeah. 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 Uh, gray, gray and teal, pink and white, pink and white. For what? Oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For that, I see black and blue. Black and, and blue. White and gold. gold. Okay. You guys are colorblind. Okay, what do you, what do you hear? Yeah. 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 Laurel. Laurel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was interesting. Listen carefully. Laurel. 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 Well, what do you hear? What color is this dress? What color is the shoe? If you heard Yanny saw a black and blue dress and a pink and white shoe, like me, you tend to be right brain. If you heard Laurel and saw a white and gold dress, um, and, and a siren and gray shoe, then you're more like me, a left brainer. Well, that's all. Have a great weekend. Happy last day of school, Usher Vikings. I'm Kayla Bravo. And I'm Brody Gilson. We thought since it was the last day of school, it would be, it would be cool to ask, what was your favorite part of the school year? And what, was, what are you most looking forward to during your summer break? Well, Vikings, here is what some soon-to-be 7th, 8th, and freshmen have to say. Hi, I'm here with Maddie. Um, I have a question for you, a couple questions, actually. So, first of all, these are honorary Kayla. So, I have two questions for you. What was your favorite part of school year? Uh, probably meeting tons of new people and just have, making more friends. Nice. And then, what was, what are you most looking forward to for summer? Uh, probably meeting, uh, going to meet um, family members out of country. Nice. Yeah. Well, that'll be fun. Bye. Bye. So, I'm here with Yash today. So, Yash. What was your favorite part of the school year? Uh, probably, I don't know, 
probably the last day of winter break. Yeah. I mean, not, no, not the last day of winter break. Last day of semester one. Yeah, that was a fun day. So, what are your plan? What are you most looking forward to during the summer? Um, I get to go on a trip to Europe. Nice. And eat baguettes. Man, I really want to eat baguettes right now. You're making me hungry. <laughs> well, see you around. Wait, 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 wait. Before you go, can I dab on camera? No. no. Hi, I'm here with Haley Schneider. Hi. No, 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 I'm, inco I'm incognito. Sorry, incognito Haley Schneider. So, totally not Haley Schneider. You can go through. <laughs> okay, so Haley Schneider. Yeah. Uh, no, sorry. incognito. Incognito Haley Schneider. Yeah. Um, no. Okay, anyways. Um, so, <laughs> okay, so what, what was your favorite part of the school year? My favorite part of the school year was, prob was probably um, hanging out with my friends and also um, going and I, having going a lot of fun with my teachers. Cool. And uh, also, um, yeah. Okay, what, and then what, is your, what are you most looking forward to for some? Uh, my birthday. Oh, nice. What's your birthday? Incognito. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hey, Haley, sorry. Incognito Haley Schneider. Ah! <laughs> Alright, so I'm here with, what's your name? Chloe. Alright, hello, Chloe. So, what was your favorite part of the school year? Um... So, what are you most looking forward to during the summer? Um, hang out with friends. Alright, that sounds nice. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no. Wow, you guys had a great school year and great plans for summer. Well, Vikings, have a great summer break. And we will see you next school year. Happy, Happy end, end of school. school. Happy Friday, Vikings. Today we'll be seeing how much our Vikings know about shoes. Our contestants are Sin and Andre. Question one. What year was the first Jordan 1 released? Mm. A, 1976. B, 1993. C, 1905. Or D, 1985. D. D. You both were correct. It was 1985. <laughs> Question two. About how many shoes does Nike sell every year? A, 170 million, B, 780 million, C, 1.2 billion, or D, 583 million? D. D. You both were incorrect. How many shoes? It was B, 780 million. Jeez. Question three. What current athlete has the highest endorsement with Nike? A, LeBron James, B, Kevin Durant, C, Tiger Woods, or D, Cristiano Ronaldo? A. A. It was D. You were both wrong. A soccer player? Cristiano Ronaldo. Dang. CR7. Question four. What is the most expensive <laughs> shoe ever made? A. Solid go gold OVO times Air Jordans. B. Nike Air Mags. C. Michael Jordan worn Converse Fast Breaks. D. Diamond Encrusted Air Force Ones. B. C. You were wrong. It was A. Solid gold OVO times Air Jordans. Jeez. God damn. <laughs> Question five. Why was the first Air Jordan 1 banned from the NBA? A, because it was too flashy. B, because it didn't have any white in it. Or C, because it was made from banned material. B. It's one of the colors, so I'm gonna say B. You both were correct. I know. This is the colorway. Yeah. Yeah. Question six, who founded Nike? Is it A, Phil Knight, B, DeMarcus Cousins III, <laughs> C, Benjamin Horry, or D, Trevor Larson? D. Mm, C. You both were wrong, it was A, Phil Knight. Bro. Question seven, um, what is my dream shoe? Is it A, oh, New York City Pigeon SB Dunks, B, Red Lightning Jordan 4s, C, Off-White UNC Jordan 1s, or D, Raging Bull Jordan 5s? You answer first. I think it's C or D. I can't remember. I'm, I know what it is. What is it? You go first. No, I want to hear what you got to say. <laughs> C. C. <laughs> This last one is actually the first one to answer gets it. Uh-oh. And the first one to answer correctly gets it, so Andre won.
It was gotcha. the right. He would count the answer oh. right. It was C. Off white Jordan ones. Off white UNC Jordan ones. I know. You told wait, you told me that a couple weeks yeah. ago because the babes does. Yeah. Well, anyways, Andre's our winner. Mm-hmm. He hit me though, so that doesn't really count. Shut Thank up. you for watching. It's raining beans. Yes, you heard me. Raining beans. In the, Hamilton, in the Hamilton neighborhood of Ontario, Canada, a soybean shower has been reported. Adrienne Van Halem, who left to walk her dog, saw what seemed to be soybeans on her vehicle's windshield. At first, she thought it was snow or salt. She stated, quote, It struck me as unusual, of course. It's just gross and messy and surprising to have beans raining down, unquote. The homeowner also called Nearby Bunge, a U.S.-based food company that operates an oilseed processing plant in Hamilton, to ask if it had any explanation for what happened. She said she received a voicemail confirming the facility was involved, and the next day a letter arrived acknowledging what happened, along with a gift card for a car wash. In fact, everyone that was affected by the beans got a free car wash gift card. Speaking of beans, here are our very own beantologists. A new beantologist. Her name is Rachel Beanstein. Are we still stranded in the desert? Oh, look, we're almost there. Almost where? The savannah. Really? Yes. Great. Which way? I wish we had a map. Ow! Is that a coffee bean? Yes, it's a bean attack. I'm throwing them. Nah, they'll figure it out. Uh, it's you, I know it! <laughs> Look, we're back in the savannah. Yay! Look, a cave. Ooh, looks scary. Let's shove the new one in to check the chats. No! Ah! 
Is that a bane? They're so shiny. Is it a bane? I think so. It's a very shy and it's extremely rare. Big bean! Wow! <laughs> Her mission accomplished! Let's take it back to our research faculty. Yes, I'll take a picture of it for memory. Wait, I forgot to charge the camera. It's almost dead. We need to go back. Really? need to know a little bit more about me. So I'm going to do a Q&A on Snapchat and Discord. I ran a Q&A, so I'm going to respond to all your questions, unless they're inappropriate. Let's go. Question. Do you edit your own segments? Yes, everybody on KLIB does. I use Wii Video and Premiere Pro because, you know, I don't know. I just use both of them. But look, look at my segments ended up. Question. What is your full name? Adrian Chipotle, Taco Bell, Walmart, Popeyes, KFC, Mexico, Gonzalez. Question, what is your Harry Potter thing? Harry Potter thing? What's that? Let me look it up. <laughs> oh, Patronus and, oh, Patronus and House. Um, I'm not sure. Okay, so I just did the test and uh, I'm, my Patronus is a uh, Salmon and my House is a uh, Hufflepuff. I don't know what that. Okay. What was your first segment about? Uh, it was about a trip to Costa Rica. I interviewed a kid named Tate Marshall. Why is Mr. Moore always mad at you? I'm honestly not sure. Probably the fact that I always goof off and you know do stuff off task. Task. Ta task. Who is your crush? I will show. I, I will show a picture of them somewhere on the screen. It's gonna be super small and for a second. Wheels or doors? Doors. Uh, what's your fave video game? Fave video game. Uh, Team Fortress 2. That's why the previous episode had a Team Fortress 2 intro. I love it. Question. Who's going to take your spot once you're gone? I don't know. Honestly, I'll just watch it, like a lot of segments of KLI the new KLIB and decide who's most similar to me. Um, we okay. Are you Mexican? No. Everybody thinks that and I just play along with it. Final question. When was the first time you had a Cheeto? It was actually like kind of recently in sixth grade. I had one in Mrs. Nelson's class. I've never had them before. It was like period five. Uh, a couple of kids witnessed that and you know, they, they just witnessed me eat a Cheeto. It's great. Well, that's all the questions you asked. That's it for today. And as always, gotta eat those Cheetos.
Happy last day of school, Lesher Vikings. I'm Kayla Bravo. And I'm Brody Gilson. How much do you know about KLIB? Well, this trivia will reveal how much these contestants know. Jax, Hoxie. North. And Juliana. Well, Vikings, it's, it's trivia, trivia time. time. Question one. How many people are in KLIB? A, 10, B, 8, C, 12, or D, 5? A. B. C. Juliana is correct. It was C, 12. <laughs> I really thought that was, was my next guess. Sure, mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's see. Um, question uh, number two. Who is one of KNIB's main writers? Is it A, Ace, B, Mr. Reyes, C, Dr. Dodd, or D, all of the above? Mr. Reyes. B. Mr. Reyes? I want to say. Um. Pressure. Pressure. <laughs> you can do it. D? I don't know. Um, all of you were wrong. It's Ace. Um, she's our main writer for KLIB. <laughs> Question three, true or false? KLIB was established in the 1980s. I'm true. I'm true. 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 You all are correct. It is true. Yeah, it was true. established in 1989. Alrighty. <clears throat> Gotta get ready. Okay. <clears throat> um, when was the first KLIB episode on YouTube published? Was it A, 2019, B, 2014, C, 2011, D, 2021? B. 2011. Wait. 2011, yeah. I think it's also 2011. 2011 was like YouTube's year. 20, the answer is 2014. Oh. So, good job. I thought it was gonna be 20. Okay. I think I'm last year. that. All right. Question five. Ooh. What does the LIB and KLIB stand for? A is it A, Lesher IB, International Back Lit. Back Hello, Ryan. can't speak to um, B, it Lesher International Broadcasting. C, Lincoln IB, or D, none of the above. B. B. I think it's B. Uh, none of the above. All of you were wrong. It yeah, is, all of you were wrong. It's Lecture International Baccalaureate. We, none of us know what the case stands for, actually. We have oh, said. I know. What no, is um, I'm pretty sure that it's everything west, west of uh, uh, Minnesota. Oh, yes, yeah, Mississippi yes. River. Mississippi River. Nope. Um, it's a, it's a, I think it's a... Missouri River. Montessori. Nope, nope, nope. Um, it's K. Mom, it's whatever. K. All right. All right. Way. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is probably one of the easiest questions. Okay, so who runs KLIB? Is it A, Adrian? It's not that one. Don't pick it! <laughs> okay, is it B, Mr. Reyes, C, Miss Davis, or D, Dr. Dodd? B. Oh, it's Haley. And B. 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 Reyes. B. Reyes. B. 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 Reyes. Reyes. You didn't pick Adrian. Congratulations. Um, Haley was my second guess. I was gonna. I'm in last place. <laughs> Imagine. You, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Well, Vikings look like Jack and Giuliano won. So congratulations to them. Well, Vikings, have, have a, a great, great summer, summer break. break. <laughs> <laughs> hey, besties, back with another segment. Unlike JoJo Sierra, we think you might like this one a little more. This week's segment is inspired by a random video I saw on the internet. Drum roll, please. Seven times Elmo was a complete and utter savage. <laughs> This is a video edit from the creator Liv Purcell. Now, let's watch this fun clip. All right. Seven times Elmo was an absolute savage. Oatmeal container, a wooden bowl, a plastic water bottle, and a paper towel roll. Say hello, Rocco. Yeah. Rocco says hello. Elmo didn't hear anything. So raise a glass to freedom. Raise a glass? Raise a glass. A glass of what? Apple juice. Delicious. Oh, Rocco's got a lot of things he wants to do. Of course. Elmo's dancing to fly and seem like a plane. But some things, Elmo chugs and gum like a train. Well, well, what could we use instead of rocks? What if we think outside of the box? Say what now? Elmo is not going to play with Zoe anymore. This play day is over. You drive. So, you know, uh, unique. 
stuffed bear. Here, you. I'm gonna own over you reverse card you. You are. Uh, oh God. Oh. I just, I, I just Uno reverse card you, kid. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. Well, for that, we would have to rewind. Yeah. It's rewind time. If I control rewind, I would want Minecraft. Podcast Brownlee. Happy Friday, Vikings. So, a while ago, Thompson challenged me to an editing duel. But it was delayed due to my broken arm and spring break and then me getting sick. But I think we can finally do it. Anyway, this segment will decide who is the better editor in KLIB. So, this is how it works. We both have to make a video that is one minute long or less. Uh, do we, like, add some sort of ground rules or... I uh, I think so. Uh, I think we are not allowed to use any outside help besides YouTube because YouTube's YouTube. Um, and well, of course we don't even ask for any outside help. We're not, you know, everybody else on the planet. Yeah. <laughs> well, we already know I'm going to win, so don't sabotage anybody. I'm not gonna sabotage. I, you're not gonna win. I disagree with that. In all your segments, like it's a, oh, it's a brand new thing. So. He's special agent. Oh, so you the know, unique I, stuffed bear. Here, you. I'm have, gonna own over. You reverse card to, you. You are. Oh God. Oh. I just I I just own over reverse card you kid. Great. Now you're all caught up. Oh. Well, let's get to the duel. People ask me, magic mirror on the wall, who's the best editor of all? And by all I mean, me, Thompson, and Adrian. Well, let's find out. See, I can put my lips on a donkey's body. Hee haw, hee haw, donkey. <laughs> We should totally do an editing duel. This guy likes being on camera. I'm famous. I'm famous now. Oh, and he's famous. Hi, I'm Tom Zaness, and I'm here with my cross-country teammate, Ian Tiley, who's one of the most competitive runners on the team. Welcome, Ian. Thanks. So... Him and Gabrielle were soaring, flying. There's no soar in heaven that we can't reach. Back to basketball, back to science, ocean, ocean, jump on. All right, trains with the ball, crossing over, crossing over. Oh, oh, three. Hey, and now it is time for the greatest highlight of the year. The Ice Bucket Challenge. This is the greatest event! 
moment of the century. Yeah. Me and Luca are going to do the ice bucket challenge fully clothed. And I didn't bring a change of clothes. So let's see what happens. I did. You know, screaming like a girl, we dude. We did it, buddy. I'm sorry you got water in your big vans. Give me my hat, Luca. Luca! I'd run, but it really hurts. No! No, you don't. Luca, oh my gosh. <laughs> Honestly, wait. Get this, I, get this on camera. If I do that exact same thing, I won't even scream. I know. Bet. The next day. Slade, you got kicked out of KYB. Okay. Not All right, so. Okay, I'll count down from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Just do it! If I do that exact same thing, I won't even scream. I know. Bet. Happy last day of school, Vikings. I'm Kayla Bravo. Since the school year has come to an end, I have decided to put it put together a compilation of my personal highlights on KLIB throughout the school year. Here it is. Vikings, I'm Caleb Bravo, and today, it. Thank you. I'm Caleb, comma, Bravo. <laughs> really? What is your favorite soda? I do. Uh, okay. Well, that sounds good. Well, have a great rest of your day. And we will see you next school year. Happy, Happy end, end of school! school. You guys said it. That's my. That's my. <laughs> hey, but hey, hey. Right, I'll just clip that part out. Hey, Lesher Vikings. I have a question for you. I'll clip hey. that out too. A good, no, don't press it. On the <laughs> wow, you guys had great school year and a great plan for summer and a great plan for summer. It's not Andy. We're here with Taylor Swift to girl talk about her various accomplishments. If you're unfamiliar with girl talk, here's how it works. What happens at girl talk stays at girl talk unless Juliet is involved. Just so everyone knows, this is definitely the actual Taylor Swift. Yes, hello and thank you. <laughs> this is correct. I am Taylor Swift. Okay. Great. We have just a few interview questions to ask you. Mm -hmm. First, I think everyone knows who you are, but would you like to name a few of your most popular songs? Oh my god, of course. A few of my most popular songs, which you may have heard on the radio, are Shake It Off, Love Story, Blue Space. OMG! Is that Taylor Swift? I got your name tattooed on my hand! Oh, on my neck! That's the answer too! Look at your face! Yes. We're so honored to be here! We love you so much! I've been here for years! Y'all love you! I love Taylor! Can you guys get I love Swift! We're the biggest Swift in the Anyways, uh, and you belong with me. So those are my songs. <laughs> okay. Me. So tell us, um, as your fans over there, 
I'm sure, are eager to know. Are you releasing a new album soon? Well, I am working on re-recording my albums, but I haven't yet revealed which one I will release next. Suspense, am I right? Thank you, Taylor. That was really cute. But I think the real question on everyone's minds is this. Have you ever killed anyone? You're oh, I'm <laughs> that day! Well, security! <laughs> adore me so yes I have not killed anybody and would you look your at the hair. time this has so been a good. wonderful interview <laughs> and I'm late because my and my cats are wondering where I am so bye oh my God, I, love cats. <laughs> I guess that answers that question <laughs> um, <laughs> regardless Taylor Swift has great music that you should definitely listen to and yes I'll say it again that was definitely Taylor Swift and totally not some low budget actor. Now let's all shake it up! Let's Have a great up. week and let's your Vikings and my queens. Happy last day of school, Vikings. The Dude Be Nice initiative is annual, celebrates our heroes, and builds positive communities. A big thanks to Stuco for celebrating our cafeteria staff this year. Have a great summer. Oh, and Dude Be Nice. <laughs> selling me ship, trying to get across the uh, the great Gulf Stream man, back to the land of Florida. And uh, man, I hope you're all doing well over there. 
I wish I could be there going through whatever it be that you all be going through now. Whether Sailing it be. Vessel oh. Sailing vessel roomy. Someone's on the radio. Over. Hold on. This is Sailing Vessel Roomy, go ahead. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I've been slowing down quite a bit. Uh, I may kick in the engine for uh, about an hour just to see if my motor sailed for a while. Copy that. Um, we'll probably just keep sailing. We're feeling pretty relaxed, but uh, feel free to go on without us. Well, I won't get far, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, copy that. Ah. Vikings! Yes, ah. Uh, pardon the radio there, disturbing the ship and uh, what we're doing at that moment now. But, uh, I guess why I'm calling in today is just because I miss y'all and I uh, wanted to say hello from far away in the Viking world where we still use ships to get from point A to point B and eat fish and sweat and smell like Lazarus himself. And uh, as far as that goes, uh, not Lazarus, the Leviathan, ah yes, like the Leviathan himself, yes. So uh, take care lads and uh, please be good to your teachers, be good to your friends and have yourself a fantastic and mighty day. Cheers. Hello Vikings, Lesher Middle School's annual bike week was a hint hit once again. You don't have to wait until bike week to help save the planet, however, so keep pedaling, wear your helmet, and find your freedom. Have a great summer, Vikings. And shake it off. Oh my god. They say you my god, I see the way you shine. So take your hands, my dear, and place them both in my eye. You know you stopped me there when I was passing by.
Hey, Leisure Vikings, we are the BMX Pros. Thank you guys so much for having us this week. We had an absolute blast. Your guys' energy was incredible. We hope to see you guys again next year. That's it for today. As always, you gotta eat those Cheetos. Ah! Happy Friday, Vikings. So, th these are today's national days. Ah! Hello Vikings and Vikings, for old time's sake, here are today's national days. To begin, it's International Plastic Free Day, so make an extra effort to pick up all of your trash. It's also Towel Day, National Brown Baggot Day, and Tap Dance Day. That's all folks, and have a wonderful summer. Ahoy lads, Captain Mr. Murphy again here, sailing on the SV Rumi, sailing vessel. Rumi, that's what the SV stands for. Anyway, I'm out here looking out at the grand blue view of the ocean quite blue indeed uh, it has a green texture to it in the mighty cloudy sky but as you can tell we're only doing about four knots and we got about 11 knots of wind so that's the thing about sailing you don't get into it to go fast you get into it just to do it because that's, that's what sailing's all about i guess anyway i wanted to give you all a little lesson today on uh how something very fascinating works that we have aboard our ship known as a wind vane. It's this bloody thing behind me, not the flag flapping about. Uh, let me zoom in here a little bit and I'm gonna kind of flip the camera around and give you a little explanation. I don't know how to do that. How do I flip you around? Oh, hang on. Um, camera seems stuck in this version, so we're just gonna hold it out. All right, well, so this crazy wonky device, we call it Monty because it's a monitor wind vane, but Monty is a completely mechanical steering system that uses zero electricity and looks like something out of a steampunk movie as far as I'm concerned. Now, down here you have a little rudder, a pendulum rudder, and that's reacting to the swell and the waves that cause Rumi to move from side to side. Up here, those, that rudder there will be connected to these lines. Those lines run forward, and they actually attach to the steering wheel right here. An RV me lover standing there awkwardly. Anyway, the, uh, the steering wheel is getting steered about port to starboard based on the movements of the sea, but not just the movements of the sea, but the wind as well. Behind our great American flag here, you'll see we've got ourselves a wind vane, a uh, wind wing thing, I guess. I don't know exactly what you call it, but that this gear device is also rocking side to side by being pointed into the wind. Now it carries a bit of lead down here below and that there lead keeps it stable. Yet if the wind is about to turn and uh, push the wind vane one side or the other, that also reacts with the lines that go forward to this, this helm steering wheel here. And there you have it, a wonderful magical mechanical steering system. Now. That's basically the simplified gist of it. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, very fantastic moment of Viking nostalgia. Now, please um, protect yourselves, wear sunscreen, and remember that, uh, you know, you can do whatever you want. There's always options. So don't let anybody be too strict with you. Hey, Vikings, Vikings. I want to talk to you all about Kayla B for next year. KLIB is a really fun experience, and I hope you all consider joining after listening to this brief segment. What are we doing, KLIB? For one, we write stories. We do local stories, school stories, or world stories. But there's other types of segments, too, such as trivias, taste tests, and more. Then there's filming. We have a whole green room full of equipment and more. And then we download our video recordings on SD cards. Then we insert them into our computers and edit the whole, pla and edit the whole segment on a platform called Premiere Pro. I may warn you though, editing can be a long process in the beginning, and it's kind of tedious if you make a mistake. However, by the end, it's really fun. Mm. <clears throat> Sorry, I <laughs> didn't see you there. Yeah, this, is, this might be a little awkward, but yeah, I was shoving Cheetos in my mouth. Oh, frick. Um, I don't know what to say, I got really kind of off guard. Uh, so, <clears throat> this year is Master Moore's last year teaching at leisure. You might be wondering, why do five other kids and I call him master? Well, one, he is secretly a master at Krav Maga, and he has a master's degree, so 
you, you should really be calling all your teachers master. No, seriously, do it. I want to see how funny. I want to see their reaction. Anyway, Mr. Anyway, Mr. Moore is leaving, which is sad because even though he yelled at me, popped two of my balloons who were in fact my children, yelled at me even more and gave me a total of 27 redirects, two concussions. Just kidding. Just kidding. For legal reasons, that's a joke. He never hurt me. He never, you know, give me a gave me two concussions. But the redirects are true. Even though he did all of that, he has taught me a lot. So this compilation is dedicated to him and the legacy he's going to leave behind. So we're currently going against Mr. Moore, which at the, the ultimate frisbee, which isn't fair because he counts us 20 people and one. This is bad video. This is I'm filming this in my pocket so he doesn't see it. This is how am I supposed to win against you? Hold on, don't ask me yet. Don't ask me yet. No, I don't know. I don't know what I want yet. Action! Hello. What do you want for Christmas? You say my name first. Oh. Yeah. Do you want your name on the internet? The e internet? Yeah, I mean, I want people to know who I am. Okay, just, just continue filming. Okay. We'll just cut it. Yeah. Anyway, what is your name? You know what my name is. <laughs> That's not how it is. Yeah, name. no, you just say my name. Hello, Wilmore. What do you want? <laughs> Hey, <laughs> come on. Come on. Hello, Mr. Moore. What hey, do you Adrian. Want? What do you want for Christmas? I want a Ron Swanson bobblehead. This is what Mr. Moore looks like when he's disappointed in me. He's like my real father. <laughs> Mr. Moore, what are your thoughts on Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to miss you, Mr. Moore. Not just me. Over 200 people will miss you. So, thank you for teaching me everything you know. And thank you for being my math teacher. Goodbye, Mr. Moore. We'll miss you. Hi, Lister Vikings, and once again, I'm Brody Gilson. And happy end of school. With summer coming up well tomorrow, I thought it would be fun to give you some sweet things to do over the summer. Something you can do rather obviously is travel. You can go out of state or even out of country. Um, the second thing you can do is go outside. Being outside is amazing. You can go hiking or even just walking in your neighborhood. The third thing you can do, well, that's actually up to you. I couldn't think of three things. Just make it like legal, please. That would be great. Well, Vikings, that's all I have for you guys today. And I'll see you next year. Unless you're in eighth grade, then you're dead to me. Have a great weekend, Vikings. Hey Vikings and Vikings, this is KLIB's last episode, and that means some of our staff will be on their way to high school. I want to acknowledge their hard work over the year. First off, we have Mike Cumbers Wenzel, who is always doing her best and supporting her fellow KLIB members. Next, we have Miles Hogan, who's a valiant member of this year's KLIB staff. He's constantly working and improving on everyone else by trying his best. Next, we have Adrian Taco Bell Target Cadoba Gonzalez, who's one of the most hardworking people on KLIB. Not to mention, he's always producing enjoyable and fun segments every week for you to enjoy. Last, we have Ace Tang, who does behind-the-scenes work. She writes detailed stories for our staff to use, and, and we don't give her enough credit. So, thank you to all the 8th graders, and we wish you luck in high school. Bye. Lesher has made a huge impact in my life. This impact was a positive one. Though my time at Lesher was cut short due to a virus, it made me who I am today. I'm going to miss this place. I have learned so much here at Lesher. I met some amazing teachers and students. Thanks to Kill IB, I am now known as the Cheeto Guy slash Kid because of my silly catchphrase that I made on the spot. I'm glad I went to Lesher because this is, this is a place where everybody belongs. It doesn't matter what your first language is, your religion, your ethnicity, etc. You matter. You belong. I didn't think I would get this message if I went anywhere, anywhere else for middle school. So, thank you guys for watching my segments, still being positive through tough times, and thank you teachers for putting up 
with my bull crap. I love you all, guys. Goodbye, everybody. That's it for today. And as always, gotta eat those Cheetos. Anna steering. She's very intense right now. The autopilot going. <laughs>